Hi, if you're new here, we are Emma, Jack, and Poppy, and we are currently cruising with Jack's parents on the NCL Sun to Alaska. And in today's episode, we are in Icy Strait Point, and we're going to be walking around, exploring a little, heading over to the beautiful town of Huna, and just having a fantastic day. Let's get out and let's live a little. Good morning from Icy Strait Point. As you can see, we are in Icy Strait Point today. We are going to hike to Huna. Last time we were here, we just stayed around the port area. This time we're gonna go into the Huna town, which is where the locals live. Check it out. We got our hiking backpack. Poppy's ready. Emma's getting ready, so let's go. Good morning. We are getting off the boat and we are gonna go do Icy Strait. You ready, Pops? Nope. We got Poppy right, in a backpack this time, so we're not trying to do the stroller. And we're gonna go and explore the town of Huna. Let's go. We're gonna go. A lot different than last time. A lot different than last time. There's no lines, so we're gonna take this over instead of walking up the mountain and on the side. Hello. Yeah, we'll go back that way. Is this cool? cool. Are you gonna wave to everybody again? Yeah. Nobody in that one. Nope. Wave. In two people, in the in two of them, there's enough. Someone. So Oh, we're stopping. Oh, we're stopping. Oh, that is favorite. That is favorite. Oh, it's got little zip lines for kids, too. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty cool. No, like you would do. You're a wild yeah. woman. Oh, you're wild. It wasn't open last time we were here. Poppy, is this fun? Oh, you want to go? Yeah, I know. <laughs> that lady was waving. Yep. Just wash her head. Sorry, monkey. Did you get your head back? No, I didn't. Really. A big whale? A big whale! A big whale! Icy Strait Point is a destination that offers nature, wildlife, adventure, and the native Klingit hospitality. Just a little over a mile away is the village of Huna, 1.6 miles to be exact the largest Klingit village. Icy Strait Point has 20 plus tours and a restored 1912 Alaskan salmon cannery, nature trails, restaurants, a beach, and it has 100% Alaskan owned retail shops. It is a great place to see whales and eagles. Icy Strait is Alaskan native owned and operated. Roughly 85% of the staff calls Huna home. Icy Strait is only open when cruise ships are in port, since it is a cruise destination. So instead of walking the 1.5 miles to the town of Huna, we decided to take the bus because it's starting to rain. So we'll talk to you when we get to Huna. The shuttle is $5 and it runs every 20 to 25 minutes. <sighs> There's an eagle's nest in that tree, and there is an eagle right above the nest, just slightly to the left. Once we got into town, there were still some shops open, so we went shopping, of course. If you've enjoyed our video so far, we'd love it if you'd hit that like button and subscribe. And this totem right here that the man is working on has taken him six months at this point and it is still not complete. It was beautiful though. Four people six months to do this all by hand. Four of you guys, six months, wow. Six to eight hours. Huna Klingits are originally inhabitants of Glacier Bay, where they lived for thousands of years. During the Little Ice Age, glacier advances forced people to relocate, and that was to present-day Huna, which translated 
means where the north wind doesn't blow. In 1880s, it started as fur traders, and then in 1912, the Huna Packing Company built the cannery. So we just watched somebody making a totem pole, and he said it takes four guys six months, and they work about six to eight hours every day on it, which is, and they were absolutely beautiful. Um, and it's a really cute, small town. It closes up pretty much this week, and this is the end of September. And yeah, it's all locals. There's a total of 900 residents. And it was definitely fun to explore. It's a little rainy today, but great exploring. The plan was to then end up at this brewery, but it wasn't open when we were there, so we headed back to the port. We took the bus there. It was $5 round trip per person. If you have a kid under five, they were free. And it is raining, but we didn't feel like waiting 30 minutes for the bus. So we're walking and it's a really, really pretty view. And it's just nice to get off the boat and explore a little and work off some of that cruise food and explore Alaska and the beautiful scenery. This is an absolutely gorgeous walk. I would definitely recommend it, even if it's raining a little bit like it is today. And just get out and breathe some fresh air. The town of Huna has one gas pump, and right there where you see that bus, there it is. Gas is definitely not cheap here either. I see him. I had a seal. I think it's a seal. Yeah. <laughs> it's a whale. It is a whale. There's a couple of them. There's one here too. That's pretty close. Miles How much have we gone? One mile. Okay. 12 minutes. We got 12 minutes. Well, you can do it. We can do it. Let's go. There it is. Now, typically, I'm not the first one to be like, yes, let's go walk in the rain. But I have to say, I am so happy that we did this today because there's something about that foggy gray sky and the misty rain on the mountains that just made this walk 10 times more memorable and worth every ounce of wet and rain that we got on this walk. Jack's parents went back to the ship and we decided to check out the cookhouse restaurant. It's right on the water, close to the cannery. We wanted to check it out last time, but we didn't get a chance to, so we'll check it out this French time. French fries, beer. And then we did halibut fish and chips. Cheers. Try it. Hot. <laughs> on that. <laughs> it's pretty good though. It's a nice light batter. Halb is good. Not bad. How was your lunch? Were, your fried, were the french fries good? The fish and chips that we had, how much was it? Like $40 after we had fish and chips and then a small portion of french fries and a beer. It was like 36 and then tip. So like 40 bucks. Not cheap. It was tasty, but I don't know if it was worth 40 bucks. It's also five minutes to the ship, so you could just... But it does support local community. It does support local community, which is fantastic. So, Icy Strait. We had a little bit of a rainy day, but it was really nice. We definitely recommend 
walking to the town of Huna. It's a cute small little town. Not too much to do, but there's some nice little shops. There is a brewery which happened to be closed today, so we didn't get a chance to go into the brewery. And it's a really, really pretty walk along the water to get there. It was a good day overall, can't complain. So till next time, get out and live a little. Bye guys. We'll see you next time when we are in Glacier Bay, Alaska. This is technically a sea day, but it is the prettiest of them all.